Hi all, it's Kelly here again and I hope this video finds you all healthy and that all your family and friends are also. Um, I've recently put up a video on how to make some homemade masks and I hope that helped anyone out there looking to make some because those there's several things that are kind of hard to find. They're kind of flying off the shelf as soon as they get there. But I'm going to make some homemade hand sanitizer and some wipes. So, um, like cleaning wipes, and which you could use on your hands too. But, um, and it's real simple ingredients. It's real sim simple to put together. Now, the ingredients were a little bit tricky to find, and I had to kind of improvise just a little bit, but they'll still work for me. Um, the first thing... Uh, you're going to need is some isopropyl uh, rubbing alcohol and this is 70% now you're going to want at least 70% if not 90 95% um, that would be your best bet but um, the CDC website suggests to use at least 70% okay and then you're going to want some aloe vera gel. Now, um, like I said, things are hard to find, but I did find this. Uh, alo um, it's alocane, but it's aloe vera gel, and it has a little bit of lidocaine in it. So I guess if you have some stiff joints, that'll, that'll help also at the same time. So I'm going to use that. And if you want a little send to it you could put some essential oils um you'd probably put like with this recipe you would probably add about five or six drops but since my rubbing alcohol is winter green scented i'm going to go ahead and not add this um then you'll need some some way to measure it and something to put it in now you could use like a liquid hand soap dispenser that was empty I found these little travel bottles um, so you could put these in your purse and so I'm going to use those and then I'll probably also fill up my um, little bottles in the house so let me show you uh, how much to add and how to mix this up first of all you're going to need two-thirds cup of your alcohol so I'm going to just take the top off, pour that in my measuring cup, okay, and then you're going to need one third cup, which the recipe is really simple because it's just two thirds cup of this and one third cup of your aloe vera. Now, I, I feel like this, this may be enough, but um, to make this a little bit more thicker, you can always add some more after the fact, to, you know, if you want it a little, to be a little thicker. Um, so we'll see once we get it stirred up. So you'll want a third cup. Okay. I only think I'm going to get a third cup out of this. Oops, Annie. No, no. Get down. Get down. Okay. And then I'm just going to put that in. And then I'm just going to, you can use a whisk or um, any, I think she smells the winter green because she wants to see what's going on. Um, you just mix that up really well. And like I said, you could put those. in if you wanted to and then all you have to do is pour it into your container that you're going to use okay. 
and actually this is very it's I think it's thick enough so and there's your hand sanitizer now you'll want to maybe put a piece of tape or something on here and so everybody knows what's in here and you know you don't want any anybody you know maybe trying to drink that or something so you definitely want to mark this um, that it's hand sanitizer so that is how you would make homemade hand sanitizer and it's just that simple so um, if you're having a hard time finding it this would be a good idea so um, and also I wanted to show you some how to make those wipes okay and like I said the second thing I wanted to show you was to make your homemade wipes because I know those are hard to find too and so this is just as simple um, the first thing you want to do you're going to need um, some uh, paper towels and I suggest you get a, a good quality paper towel like Bounty um, that will hold up better um, because they'll be so saturated um, then you'll need some type of dish liquid and I always use Dawn and so that's what I'll be using and I, I love Dawn it's, it's good on grease and everything and then of course you'll need your uh, soap of oil uh, alcohol and this is still 70% but I'm gonna go back and get me some at least 90% I still want to come back and make some more with a higher percent of the alcohol to make sure that I'm cleaning um, up good so uh, but I'm uh, for this video I'm gonna go ahead and use this and show you and I can use these out here in my craft room and um, get some stronger um, alcohol for the house um, what I'm gonna use is I have a, a Lysol um, plastic jug that I had in a prior you know um, some prior wipes that I bought from the store I've used them up and I kept the the plastic can but you could use any type of plastic container um, even from the dollar store dollar tree um, I like my wipes to be standing straight up but you could also use like a a tub like this and just lay it down this way um, it's just um, I feel like this it may not be but you'll be pulling from the outside and this one you'll be pulling the towels from the inside of the roll but um, let's go ahead and make this now the recipe for this is going to be let's see what I do with my okay this I'm going to need, I'll just pour it in here, I need one cup of the alcohol, and these, this is still wintergreen, so it's going to have that good smell. Alright, so I've got that, and you are going to need, oh, you'll also need some water, and I brought a bottle of water down, so you need a half a cup of the water. And lastly, you will need a tablespoon of the, that's a teaspoon, I need a tablespoon, okay, tablespoon, one tablespoon of the detergent. I'm just going to start with that. Okay. I've got my mixture. Now, if you're not using, if you're just using, you know, the plain clear alcohol, you could actually add in some of the essential oils. Like, this is lavender, and that's that's my favorite scent. So, um, that's what I would be using. But I have this with the wintergreen, which will be good. All right, so I've got that mixed up, and I'll leave that in there because I'm going to stir it again before I pour it in. Now, what you want to do is take your paper towel roll, and you're going to want to cut it to the size of your canister a little bit shorter because 
um, you want to be able to have the top on to keep them moist. So I'm going to mark this. Okay, and then I've got my knife here and I'm going to just cut that. My knife is not the best. Do I put another knife here? Let me try this knife. I don't know if it's being better. Okay, well let me go in the house and cut this and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my paper towels cut to the height I want them to. Now you can either go ahead and try to pull this inner core out now or um, you can wait until you get it kind of wet and then what you want to do is go ahead and put your towels in your container. I'm going to go ahead and leave that in until I start pouring my stuff, my um, solution in, and that will make it easier for that to come out. So, then what you want to do is, I'm going to stir this up again, and I am going to start pouring it, and I'm going to pour it just a, a little bit at a time to get it to absorb, because otherwise I'm going to have it kind of all up in here, and so I'll want it to, you know, I want the towel to be soaked from the top to the bottom. I'll just start pouring that. Kind of let that okay. And you can tell I don't know if you can, but it's 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 getting a little bit all the way you know through the entire roll so and we just have to kind of get creative in times like this I hope everybody's safe and their families are doing good I feel for the people that are having to deal with this and you know, have tested positive and have family members. Okay. Now, hopefully this will be loose enough for me to pull the cardboard out. I'm going to kind of loosen it. Okay, and it pulls right out. Okay, and so you might want to, there, there'll be some of the liquid down here on the bottom, and you could always kind of roll it around to make sure that all of it is absorbed into the paper towels. But as you see here with the green, <laughs> um, they look pretty saturated, and then you would just start... Um, pull and they they are um, it's a good saturate it's not too much and not too little so they would clean up really nice and so um, all I have to do is feed my next paper towel back through the top and close the lid and I'm ready to go so and of course I'll want to get a sharpie and mark on here so I know it's important to make sure you mark all these containers so people know what's inside of them. Okay, so um, if you have any other questions, let me know. And please stay safe. Um, I will see you in my next video. And we'll be doing some more DIYs uh, with some other things that I'm thinking about. It probably... I, um, I'm not sure what it is, but um, I had an idea. Oh, I was going to make something for Mother's Day. So, anyways, hopefully, um, happy Easter. 
and tomorrow's Good Friday, so um, stay safe, and I will see you soon.